What's up guys? It's been a while. Yes, it's been a while since I've made a video. But, today's the day. And today, I normally don't have my merchandise on. Got boss hunk. That's connection. <laughs> I basically sat down and went through one of my buckets and found a Blu-ray DVD. So, I wanted to watch this DVD and basically I actually enjoyed the movie. And that movie is called Fred Claus. Now, Fred Claus is a wonderful children's film. Have you guys ever thought about being Santa Claus's brother? Like, <laughs> if I was Santa Claus's brother, I'll be up in the North Pole every single day. I'd be like, hey, Santa, can I get this? <laughs> oh my God. Vince Laker, what, whatever his name is, Vince, who played by Fred Claus, and forgot the guy's name, Paul, <laughs> who was played by the big man himself, Santa Claus. Those two were amazing together. I honestly glad they worked on this 2007 film. It was great. I loved it. Yes, I have my iPad right over here because I forget some notes. <laughs> and that's where the light's coming from. Let there be light. Anyways, but guys, if you haven't seen Fred Claus, go see it. It's based on these two brothers. Santa Claus, Fred Claus. Basically, Fred got into a little trouble. He needed some money. He needed $5,000. He called up his brother. Brother told him, hey, if you want this money, you need to come up here to the North Pole. Spend some time with me. He, for Santa Claus just wanted his brothers to, like, you know, spend some time together. Stuff like that. Bonding. Amazing. Right? But other than that, this film is based on a real life scenario of two brothers who grew up together and one didn't like the other, the other one just loved the other one. It was just a, a whole brotherly like war type thing. Excuse me. I almost had a sneeze. But throughout all the film, you know, Fred wanted nothing to do with Santa. He just didn't want nothing to do with it. He hated Christmas. Like, honestly, he hated it because his own brother was Santa Claus. For some reason, why? Don't know. He's a saint. whoop de doo <laughs> Here comes Santa Claus. Here comes Santa Claus. Here comes Santa Claus. <laughs> I'm having fun. I am back. Anyways, Fred Claus, he had a girlfriend who, you know, did not believe him in a lot of, in a lot of ways. But so she actually met his brother, Santa. Crazy, she loved him. Bada bing, bada boom. But moral of the story is basically Fred had to save Santa Claus and the workshop because Santa broke his back. He couldn't deliver the presents. And if he couldn't deliver the presents, some guy, I forgot, like an inspector or what the fuck, I don't, I don't know. He wanted to shut down the factory. He really wanted to shut it down. Like forever. So. It was in a rule that only a clause can like deliver presents. And that's what Fred did. He actually helped out his, helped out his brother. Grew hard like the Grinch. And helped out his brother. Congratulations Fred. I hope you become the next Santa Claus. <coughs> Tim Allen. Watch out. <laughs> but other than that. It was an amazing film, the suspense of two brothers, build up, of loving each other, hating each other, awesome, amazing. I don't think you guys should like pass up on this film because it is awesome. Like, awesome. <laughs> you should not, should not pass up this movie. Fred Claus on Blu-ray DVD or you can find it on Vodou hopefully on Netflix I don't know I don't think so it's a 2007 film Red Claws yeah look at the picture 
<laughs> anyway, guys, I li I liked the film. It was the characters were great. I'm gonna be serious right now. Characters were great. The suspense, wonderful. Um, I don't think I have anything I didn't dislike about it. But if I did want to dislike anything of the film, I felt like they should have like made you know the North Pole a little more what it was. I felt like it was very small for some reason. I don't know. I felt like it was very small. From remember the Tim Allen uh, Santa Claus, that shit was huge. That was huge. But now to this, um, Fred Claus, you know, the North Pole was kind of small. That's the only thing I didn't like about it. But other than that, the characters with the elves and sort of half human elf. I didn't know how that worked. I thought it was just elves there, but. Apparently, Willie loved like a half a human type of shit, but I don't, yeah. Other than that, it's a lot of, it's, it's great for kids. I know it's not Christmas yet, but it's great for kids. Something that you could watch on Christmas Day or Christmas Eve. <gasps> Whatever. Excuse me. Whatever your parents really want. But other than that, I give this film a 10 out of 10 because it's for kids and I loved it and I'm a kid myself. Inside and out. Alright guys. You know the deal. Hit that subscribe button. You know why? Because I'm going to keep on making videos. Yes. I'm going to be making videos. So subscribe to my channel. Eddie's Ballroom Reviews. And also. If you have heard. I make merchandise. So if you guys want a t-shirt. Of Eddie's Ballroom Reviews. Or if you have your own design. Hit me up. Eddie Border Room Views, 15 bucks, gotcha. All right, guys, I'm Eddie, and I'll see you guys in the next one. You know why? Because the Border Room Gang is awesome. Later.